Hello everyone, today we are doing another NHL logo ranking by division and today we'll be talking about the Central Division. Before I start, again, understand I don't hate your team. I may think that they could use a different logo or go in a different direction. Uh, so just understand that. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get this video underway. And at number 8, we have the Dallas Stars. Okay, Dallas is a team I've talked about before. And, you know, they have a hard job. Okay, when the North Stars came from Minnesota, they kept the name Stars since it made sense. It was a Lone Star State. Unless they should have been called the Dallas Star. Now, ignore that terrible joke there. There's no need to focus on that. My apologies. Anyway, I get it. It's tough. You have to come up with an idea for a star. But the Mooderous logo, I'm defending it. I will defend it till the death. That is a winner. And they need to bring it back. Most people probably won't go with that. But I still think it is a good logo for them. But they're going to have to be stuck at 8th until they get a new logo. Just putting the star and then the D inside there isn't doing it for me. Uh, if they could find something else, that'd be cool, but yeah. Now, moving on to Colorado, they will be the seventh team on this list. And this is a logo I don't hate, but if you've heard me talk about the Evs before, you know I want a Yeti or a Bigfoot logo to happen. It's not a bad logo, it's just that when you choose a name like Avalanche, you're kind of stuck. You know, you have to figure out a way to make it enticing. I don't think they did a bad job, but again... A Yeti, or a Bigfoot, something standing on top of the mountain, maybe going down on the Avalanche because they're Yeti or Bigfoot. They can handle it. That would be really cool there. Um, and, you know, maybe if they just made it a secondary logo, that'd make me a happy guy. We'll see if it happens. We'll have to see. And now moving on to number six, we have the new kid on the block in the Central Division, and that is the Arizona Coyotes. I almost forgot that they were going to the Central this year. I almost forgot to put them in this video. And, you know, I'm going to take full blame on this one. I am a big fan of the Kachina, so I am really biased towards their current logo. Again, not a terrible logo. They've been using it since 2003. It is a decent logo. I do like it, but the colors aren't as fun as the Kachina. And I can feel it. You can feel it. Everybody can feel it. The Kachina is coming back. We all know it. Could we see it when the rebuild is done? I think maybe, because... Teams like to do that. You get through a rebuild, and now you've got this merchandise that is going to be flying off the shelves. We could see it. I have faith. Now, ironically, the next team we'll be talking about at number five is the Winnipeg Jets, the team that actually went to relocate to Arizona back in the 90s. The Jets logo is a little plain, I'm not going to lie to you. And I feel pretty confident saying that they could use one of the older two Jets logos. I think that would be really cool there from their original franchise. Yeah, it's not exactly like they've built a dynasty with this current logo that they've got going on. And they haven't been in Winnipeg for a long time. What, 2011 was their first season back, right? Because the Thrashers. Anyway, it's not been very long. We get that. And Jersey Seals would improve. Maybe the team would go on a nice little run with this classic old logo. The only problem I could see with this is I'm pretty sure Arizona has those rights to those logos. And I'm not exactly sure how that would work out. It is worth a shot if that's the case. Somebody let me know down below whether or not Arizona has those rights. And now moving on smack dab in the middle of the group. We have the St. Louis Blues. It's tough to make a fierce logo out of music. But the Blues, they've done a pretty good job making a good logo. It's easy on the eyes. And that royal blue and gold really just does pop. It's a great combo. And at this point, it is a fairly historic logo, too, since the franchise hasn't really made any major changes to this logo since the, what, their inaugural season in 1967. They had that weird alternate logo for three years back in the mid to late 90s, I think, but I don't think that was their primary. So it's been pretty much consistent, and it consistently looks good. Now we've reached the top three, and this is really where it gets difficult. So coming in at number three, we have the Nashville Predators. The name is a little bit concerning to people that don't follow hockey. But the story about the team name is unique, and I will do a video about that someday. That story paired with the logo does make it a quality brand. And you have the nickname Smashville. That's always fun there. Navy blue is not a color I like very often, but the Preds do a decent job of getting it to work with the yellow the yellow might be a little bit too much. People have called it a mustard yellow. And if they could dial it back a little bit or find a way to like implement the navy blue a little bit more, that would be great. 
but the logo is too clean to get upset about. Now, moving up north, we have the Chicago Blackhawks, and there is a divide on how people feel about the team and the name, and I'm going to rank the logo just on looks, nothing else besides that. We're not going to talk about anything like that. We're just ranking the logo based on how the logo looks. The logo has a lot of different colors that they use. The feathers look nice. The smile looks good. And the team has made a dynasty with this current logo. They've won three cups in six years with it. And I think for a lot of Hawks fans, especially the younger ones, they're going to remember this logo. They're going to remember Kane, Taze, Keith, Crawford. So many more names. You know, Sharp, Seabrook. So, so many players. And they're going to remember it with that logo on their chest. And this team won a lot of championships. Well, three. That's still a lot, I'd say. On a regular basis, three in six years is good. So there we have that. And, of course, you know who's going to finish it out in the last spot or the best spot. I guess we should say save the best for last. That is the Minnesota Wild. And this may be the best logo in the NHL, and for good reason. The green is unique. I like the cream color. Cream is not used enough in sports that color they have the star in their logo likely a north stars tribute i'm pretty sure it is but i don't want to say it and somebody say i'm wrong and maybe just maybe it is but if they if you just look at this logo the wild depict the wild the actual wild trees the sun setting the river i mean it's just a great thing they should really never change it and i hope they never do it is such a great logo so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know your Central Division logo rankings down below in the comments. Also, please remember that a logo ranking just doesn't mean that I hate your logo. It means that I like some logos above it, and it's fine. It's all good. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. You're going to love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.